It's the Happy Families Podcast. It's the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. Hello, this is Dr. Justin Coulson, the parenting expert on Channel 9's Parental Guidance and uh, author of six books. Seventh book comes out in a couple of weeks' time. Stay tuned to the podcast for more. Hey, uh, recently we were having a conversation on the Happy Families podcast and I just loved it. Decided to share a bit more about this, a highlight from the Happy Families podcast. Mark McCrindle is the author of the book Generation Alpha. Mark talked about raising a Generation Alpha child and the importance of them being well-developed across a range of experiences. It all came from episode 294. A lot of parents are really focused when it comes to education on looking for an outcome that will create a holistic development in their child. You know, and I think that's important. They don't just want the numeracy and literacy. They don't just want better and better exam results. They want their child to develop in perhaps music or, or artistic areas. They want them to develop spiritually. They want them to develop socially and 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 with sporting or, or, or coordination skills. And I think that's important. That's essential. And they need to think about that in their own raising of the children. In other words, we want our children to really be well-developed across a broad range of areas, not just to be digitally savvy and, you know, academically focused uh, because, you know, the future is going to belong to those who can, be leaders, make decisions, understand complexity, adapt, uh, relate well across diversity, which is our modern community and workplace. And that is best developed by getting a range of experiences, going uh, you know, to camps and having broader experiences, whether that be in sort of social contexts or youth development programs, being able to, to engage in the outdoors, you know, not just spend all of the time on screens and indoors. So if we can give our children these broader experiences, that will set them up well to holistically flourish. Mark, I, I know that there's more that we could talk about with Generation Alpha, but I, I really want to pick you up on some of the things that you've highlighted there because of just the, the supreme importance of what you've highlighted and the fact that our world seems to be Moving away from much of what you've described, we seem to be pushing for early specialisation. We seem to be focusing our children on early technical skills. They're not getting that holistic childhood because we're so focused on unintentionally applying pressure with the best of intentions so that they can be successful. But it doesn't seem to me that as parents in today's increasingly busy, pressured world, that we're getting that right. When you were doing your research, did anything stand out to you along those lines that you could point to that might be helpful for parents to maybe pull back a bit where they need to and get the balance right? Yeah, definitely. And I think it is particularly around controlling or at least bracketing the use of screens in their world because we found in this research that 75% of the discretionary time, the after school, after chores time that children have is spent on screens. So if you give your child a choice or if you give them free time, they're going to grab the screen. That's the go-to. It's easy. It's it's, it's addictive in terms of its, its interaction. And therefore, if we can constrain that somewhat, it'll free up space to do those other things so that they can holistically develop, which is so key. Uh, and, and we say in the book, we've got lots of tips in it, but you know, partly it's, it's things like setting the example ourselves. A lot of the times, you know, we, we sort of say, hey, off the screen while we're scrolling through something. Um, if we can put them to bed the way our grandparents did, you know, a good old story and reflecting on the day. If we can um, uh, have maybe a reset, maybe we're all just too screen addicted. Maybe we have screen free Sundays or maybe we have a, a three day break in the holidays where there's just no screens. Maybe we use the screens, but we have a shared screen experience. Hey, we're going to watch a family movie night on Friday night instead of everyone just just dissipating off to their own screen experience. We put in the book a, a four-letter acronym that came through the research that might help parents, DCBA, and the D stands for delay the access to the device or, or just limit the device use. You know, Rather than give the eight or nine or 10-year-old their own device, wait until they maybe hit the teenage years if we can. Sure, they might for their schooling need access to ours or for a little bit of that screen time, but at least if it's not their own, they don't have 24-7 use of it and that's going to delay some of the use. And then the C is communicate the values, communicate what we're about so that they can start to make the right decisions as to what games or interactions they have and how they behave online. The, the B is the behavioural skills. Let's give them some skills, some social skills so that they can self-limit. And when they have the urge just to reach for the screen, they can say, actually, I've learned to 
go for a walk or kick a soccer ball around or something else. So behavioral skills, because their life is going to be filled with impulses and with uh, the, the, the opportunities just to grab onto what makes them feel good. But if they can develop some self-restraint, that's great. And the A stands for accountability. Ultimately, parents have to provide a safe environment for the children. And if we can have accountability around how much time they're spending or where they're going, or even check in so- on some of the social media or some of the screen use, that's going to be healthy for them and keep them accountable as they make their own uh, improved choices in life. That's Mark McCrindle, the author of Generation Alpha on episode 294 of the Happy Families podcast. Imagine a relationship where you felt seen, heard and valued. One where as your partner enters the front door, they see you and their eyes light up. A relationship like that is a gift. If you don't have it now, you can. The Happy Families webinar, Better Together, gives you the insight, tools, and support you need to have a happier relationship. Available now at the Happy Families webshop. The Happy Families membership is available right now. It's $13 a month for a basic membership or $18 a month for a premium membership. With that membership, you get so much value to make your family happier you'll receive a monthly webinar. Recently, we've been talking about everything from emotion coaching to carrots and sticks. We've been talking about how to guide our children successfully, what to do about praising our kids, why that's a problem, how to minimize control, why competition can undermine our kids' well-being, and so much more. And the rest of this year's webinars have been penciled into the calendar, and you wouldn't believe how great the content will be. Normally, it's 30 bucks a month for a webinar. If you are a Happy Families member, it's only $13 or $18. But on top of the webinars, you also receive a monthly Q&A with me. And if it's not a QA, and a it's an Ask the Expert, where I bring in experts who know how to answer the questions that you have about specific topics like technology, or friendships, or school issues, and the list goes on and on. Oh, by the way, we also do this thing once a quarter called a role play with Dr. J. Two or three people get to spend some time while everyone else takes notes and listens carefully. As we go through role plays, here's what you do when your kids are having a hard time. They tell me what their problem is, and then I role play it as if they're the kid and I'm the parent. And then we swap so they get to discover just how hard it is to do it so that we can help you to improve your parenting and progress it in the right direction. Role play with Dr. J. A Dr. J Q&A and uh, Ask the Expert. That's all part of the Happy Families Premium Membership. On top of that, if you're a premium member, you get access to our entire webinar video library. We are talking thousands of dollars worth of webinars all sitting there waiting for you to consume so that you can get yourself essentially a PhD in parenting. And the list goes on. There's more stuff than I have time to tell you about. The value is amazing. Oh, by the way, if you get a 12-month membership, we give you two months free. So you pay up front, and instead of paying uh, 12 times 13 or 12 times 18, I can't do the math, but whatever it is, you just pay 130 or 180 bucks. We times it by 10 instead of by 12, you save money, it's all there. So that's the Happy Families membership. We don't usually do pretty hard sells on the podcast, but a couple of times during these school holidays, I wanted to make sure that you were aware of it because there's so much value, and it makes such a difference in people's lives. The Happy Families membership, you can find it online at happyfamilies.com. The Happy Families Podcast is produced by Justin Rulon from Bridge Media. Craig Bruce is our executive producer. And if you want more info about making your family happier, check out our memberships or just visit us at happyfamilies.com.au.